the story of this girl who was dating this trick. He ended up, um, she ended up stealing from him. So um, she she didn't know like what car he was in again. So he pulled up again and then. Um, he how long how long you been uh, working on fake? Um, on and off since I was like 17 on 22 now. Okay, and what got you into the life at 17? Um, the money, really. <laughs> that's that's a, that's pretty much it. Just the money. I mean, at 17, what do you need money for? I mean, how you grow up. You know, everyone grows up differently. Sometimes growing up is hard. So, nigga, what? <laughs> Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. If you're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to the second channel, both are below in the description. But can you do me a favor? Hit the notifications button right now. All right, guys, what we have here is a young lady, 22 years old, and she's talking about what it's like to be a street walker. And the reason why I'm doing this video today is because we always talk about passport bros, but maybe you guys should understand the mindset of the girl that's out there so you have a better understanding why grown men really don't go towards these women. They're easy, but you can find yourself caught up on the wrong side of the stick. Let's get to it. How old are you? I'm 22. 26. 26. Mm -hmm. uh, so did you finish school? I did, yeah. I graduated high school in 2017 and then I went to college. Okay. Uh, what you go to college for? Nursing. Nursing? Did yeah. you finish? I'm in school right now still. Oh, okay. So are, is this just to supplement school or something? Yeah, it, it um, pays for school. It pays for, you know, the bills and stuff and it pays really good. So <laughs> one thing that you guys are going to notice, all of them are going to be in school mainly nursing school that would be something that you'll always hear these girls talk about is yes i've been in school and the reason why they talk like this is because they don't want anyone to look down on them for what they're doing because they are fully aware that people are going to look down on them all because their parents are already looking down on her now she's already told you she's raised a little different she's the black sheep of the family she does what she want to do she's outcasted herself a lot of young girls are going to do this. It's called rebellion. This is what I tell a lot of African-American black guys that are running around here with the Caucasian women. I told them a lot of these girls only like you because they are rebelling. This is something that you guys need to understand about women. The quicker you understand their upbringing, if they was not daddy's little girl, they're bound to be whatever character they tell themselves they want to be whether their parents are in their life or not. You have to be a alpha father. That's simple. She has to understand what the real world is. If she doesn't understand what the real world is, I tell you guys all the time, they revert back to what they can do easily. Spread their legs for money. Well, what's, uh, what are your rates? What are you charging for? Um, it depends. So like my base rate right now, it's like 140. 140 for what? Mm -hmm, for everything. Um, them like bare, bare backing. I don't never do that shit. So gross. Um what you guys have to understand is she's talking like she has standards when she really don't. When you sit down and you talk to a woman on a one on one level, she has enough time to think because women can think faster than men. So she could think, what do I say that sounds good? What do I say that he may want to hear? At the end of the day, she's already put a price on her soul. She's going to do anything. It's just that she's going to play standards whenever there's a one-on-one -on -one conversation because she doesn't want to look bad. I've done that, but he paid me a lot though. Like a lot, a lot. What's a lot? What is a lot to you? He paid me like four bands, but this wasn't out here. Where was that at? In Miami. Oh, so you worked in Miami before? Mm -hmm. I work everywhere. You speak Spanish? You guys have to understand, Miami and Dominic Republic are pretty much the same. Where am I from? I know plenty of girls like this. What you guys have to understand is when these girls get into the game, they're going to go from city to city to city to city. But they're going to get used to so many creepy guys. Do you hear the stories that she's saying? When they get used to these creepy guys, they lose complete respect for all men. And it's strictly all about the money at that point. The point of me saying that is, 
If you take a basic girl who's used to nothing but simps, she's going to lose all respect for men and she's going to play every man that comes into her life. Understand that. Spanish. Yeah. What's your ethnicity? Um, my parents are from Nicaragua and Panama. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um, how, how long do you plan to be in the life for? Not long. <laughs> Not long at all. Like, I don't want to be... 30 and doing this shit like no so i kind of want to you know be right um financially which like i'm close i'm close okay um what you have to understand is they don't have a plan you can't possibly have a plan when you're using your body to get ahead in order for you to have a plan you have to be using your mind to get ahead it's easy to trick something that's already been tricked. What do I mean? It's easy to convince someone of a lie because everyone don't want the truth. See, it's easy for a woman to convince herself what she's doing with her body. As long as it makes her money, it's okay. And the guy, it's easy for him to trick himself that he's paying that a girl is going to like him. Both are in delusional worlds, which is why it's easy for a weak woman to get in this world and also for a weak man because they're both paying for their delusion what, what kind of what are your goals like you, you, you are you buying a house are you yeah a business? so right now i already um have an apartment like my folks um he basically um set up myself to where like i have my own place my own car um, obviously, like, everyone wants to get out of this lifestyle. This shit is not forever. You can't be, like, 30 and plus of working out here. That shit is embarrassing. Right. That means, like, your, your goals aren't, like, like, set. It's embarrassing for her to be that young and do it as well. But what you guys have to understand, from a woman's angle, as long as there's another woman around to applaud, that she doesn't know she's doing anything wrong. See, when she looks at TV and she sees OnlyFans making it, then she's like, hey, girls are doing this. They're just doing it in a different way. When they stop and they look at girls on P-Hub, they say, hey, those girls are doing it. I'm just holding on to all my money. I'm just doing the same thing they're doing. I'm just out here in public. That's how women look at it. So when they hear about OnlyFans and these girls are making millions of dollars and these girls are doing this and these girls are doing that, these girls feel like, all right, if these popular girls are getting away, getting away with it, then I'm okay with getting away with it. See, a logical man may pull her to the side and say, hey, girl, bye, 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 you shouldn't be doing this. But her soul's already for sale. So she's like, well, you're not giving me any money, so I'm not going to listen to you. See, she's not going to listen to someone that's telling her to do something correctly because she's living for the now and the now is the time where she holds the power like she said i gotta get out of here before i'm 30 why because it's not just embarrassing it's that no one's going to want you so she's fully aware that this is an age game or you don't have a pimp or your pimp doesn't know like what he's doing what do you mean a pimp doesn't know what he's doing explain that because there's pimps out here that now you know that she mentioned the pimp i said in my last video when you guys go to the DR, these girls run around free like they don't have a pimp. Every girl on the strip has a pimp because those strips are ran by pimps. That's what you have to understand. There's no freelance hooker running around. It's just not. Guys have property. They have streets just like the drug dealers do. And they get their women to put on there. And I told you guys that in the last video. You will notice. You get out in DR and you act retarded. You ain't making it back home when it comes to these girls. Uh, money and shit, like with drugs and designer this and designer that. And they just don't know what they're doing with the money. Like they don't have no goals, no in investments and stuff. You need to like invest your money or else like where is it going to go? Once again, she's just talking what sounds cool. You ask the average person in the world, what would you do with your money? You know what they're going to say? Invest. Because it just sounds like the right thing to do. It sounds like the right thing to say. You have to understand, these women become the masters of manipulators. And the reason why they become the masters of manipulators is because they're outside. They're gaining, they're adapting to their environments. They're learning the angles of their environments. And it's helping them to survive. 
but they're surviving in a way where it hurts them in the long run. The message here, a lot of guys, you got to come outside. You got to smell the air. You have to adapt to your environment too. So you have street smarts because one thing about these girls, I can tell you, if she recognizes that she's wrong now, all she's going to do is switch. Like she said, and go to a whole nother city and do the same thing. But if she gets smart, she'll switch and go to a whole nother city and transition into another woman and convince the next guy that she wasn't even doing none of this real talk and she been in college the whole time but she really ain't how could you be in college and you've already showed us that you've been to two different places the mass pimps yeah i really don't <laughs> i heard uh a, a, one of the one of the girls i heard um uh, uh, yeah. oh, really? uh pro pro probably there, there's like a lot of girls out, out here that are getting killed really yeah for over what either tricks like kill them like i was on where uh, um like you hear what she said like tricks taking them out you have to realize nine out of ten times these women are dealing with mentally ill men mentally ill men these simps become very very mentally ill all right and when they can't get the woman they want or that woman do something wrong they lose they put so much heart with their money into getting her that they think that the woman is obligated to be with them or the woman is obligated to do something and when those women don't do anything that's when these women get taken out these women are constantly surrounded by mentally ill men understand that like near like 83rd um there was this trick who um was trying to like stab this girl and then she was like screaming, it was like three in the morning and like everyone like comes out and shit and like he just drives off. And then I heard um, this story of this girl who was dating this trick. She ended up, um, she ended up stealing from him. So um, she, she didn't know like what car he was in again. So he pulled up again and then um, he basically like slit her throat and like ran her over. This is what these girls are going to go through on a day to day basis. This is the type of trauma they're going through city to city, state to state, different guy doing weird thing after weird thing. So when you guys start preaching passport bros and I'm going to go down there and I'm going to be around these women, you got to understand these women ain't got no soul. They ain't got no heart. If they got a pimp and that pimp know you from out of town, that pimp may say, hey, you get in there, you get good with them. And then we're going to leave and we're going to go in and rob them. That's what's happening now. That's what's happening in the world now. These girls are just distractions to getting you robbed for more money. So you going down there to get a piece of tail. But what you ain't realizing is they waiting for you to come so they can get everything. That's what's happening now that a lot of you guys out there, you're not getting. So understand both parts of the game. Whenever you guys want to deal with these type of women and you want to get the passport and you want to go to different countries. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you guys got the message in the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. And if you know any women like this, tell them to get help. Hasta la vista.